<clears throat> since we are all under unfortunate circumstances and don't have much to do, I am bringing back the uh, long-awaited return with... Actually, I don't think I really did anything previously of in this style, but we're bringing back something. And I think I don't, upon popular request, as in zero request, because I get like probably the most amount of comments across my entire channel is two. Okay, drum roll, please, as I scoot my chair up a bit. For we are bringing back Legos. So, I actually kind of have a bit of, um, a, my city I'm working on rebuilding after because it's kind of just been chilling, like, this bin and other bins and getting some stuff is that things I took apart and rebuilt. Some of the things were able to stand the test of time. I built a new train model, which I might cover in another video. This cart, which was in my last train, I'm actually taking apart right about now. And right now I'm going to make a, tr kind of my cargo um, central area, which I kind of got a bit of things planned out using these bright and colorful bricks, and so here's going to be a pretty quick time lapse, actually, uh, no clue how quick it will be, but, yeah, of that, so this should be interesting and hopefully quite fun, hope you guys like the return of Legos to the channel. Okay, so, um, here's kind of a part way, um, through update. I started by doing a time lapse to get to this point, and then obviously the kind of time lapse whole thing. But I couldn't get the angles right, just but where you kind of just saw giant things in your face that prevent you from being able to see anything. Maybe if I tried something else, like if I was able to get it to like be like here somehow, but then like my entire body was kind of in the way right there. But anyways, so no time lapse. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. The reason I took apart the tr this is all this and like. These three chunks of bricks are all that's left of that one cart. Kind of scrapped it for all these Technic pieces, which I can use for this and up here with the crane. Um, so basically, yeah, all I kind of did is I made this wall. I feel like, I don't know, I want some way to separate, to kind of have it to separate, to make the, um, when you pull up to feel like you're in a different section than just the normal track, even though it's not much of a gap, which you'll probably see a bit later when I put it actually which actually I might not put in my city, but maybe later up today I'll do a city update. But, um, yeah, so right here, I when I marked this out, I was planning on doing a bit of, like, this was, this is the entrance of where I'm hoping, kind of, entering things out. And this is also a bit of the train tracks. I, I'm hoping that it, because that goes right up against the wall. Uh, I'm hoping that that kind of fits inside of there. So right, you got your um, you got my just standard piece of straight track heading through, and uh, I, it's what I was doing with my crane very weird. So I kind of just started with this singular piece, right, and I wanted to make it a bit taller, but I couldn't exactly find the pieces I wanted, and I end up starting to just use an accent of orange throughout. I kind of put this. On this jumper plate, I just put this right up here, kind of as like a light, so when it's like dark out, planes don't crash into this, even though it's not in reality that tall. I also use a jumper plate right there, so um, like it, it can rotate, but just it's it's this is extremely flimsy. I'm hoping on finding a like this one piece to kind of make it look like there could possibly be some lowering, but I don't have like any string or anything. So, like, that's kind of the deal with this. I'm actually pretty proud of how it turned out, though. I'm starting with my completely new and updated city. I'm trying to put in a lot more detail into things instead of having just a bunch of giant bricks everywhere. Which you might be able to see when I do that city update. Maybe even later today. Who knows? So, that's kind of that. We'll see what it looks like in a bit when it's finished. Okay, <clears throat> so I am back. Uh, sorry, this place is such a clutter, but anyways. So, uh, okay, here's the next kind of update. A lot less has changed, but what did change is quite important. So I kind of added this guy right here, just pushing uh, R2 unit, probably to get delivered to some mysterious place. 
I kind of added this little setup here with a little um kind of levers piece. I don't know how well you can see it there, but just for this one really hairy dude to um, operate the crane. But my favorite addition is right back there. Basically, I can't just this guy. He um snuck across the tracks to sort his priorities and. So he's taking a quick break and to eat a hot dog with a beautifully toasted bun that's been toasted just the right amount. Um, so yeah, that's actually prob. so, yeah, oh, I kind of forgot about this. Kind of the, it's just a two brick wide build, but it's maybe just, you know, Use like a security card or something to get through here. Um, because like the trains, just, there's gonna be train tracks kind of going right here, so they could theoretically kind of just walk around here. But like, it's Legos. You have to use your imaginations. Um, yeah, that's basically all I uh, have built for this. I'm actually kind of proud of it. I don't really like this too much, but. I really like um I really like the hot dog dude with the mustache and how this guy right here is the only guy without a mustache. If you try to see that guy, he, he does have a he has the furriest mustache of them all. Uh hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video. It might be an entire city update, which trust me it has changed a lot because everything fell apart except for one thing. I rebuilt a whole bunch of new stuff and it's gonna be great. So hopefully see you guys then.